All right, welcome to the first in what will hopefully be a long line of videos um, from the Hurley Calculus channel on YouTube. And we're going to look at function notation and then how functions translate into graphs. All right, so here we have a basic function. Okay, the f in front of the x is really just indicating what the function's name is. Okay, the x is just indicating what variable choice we're using um, for our input. You know, I could have chosen T if I wanted to. I could have picked capital Q. But we're going to stick with X for reasons that will hopefully become clear later. Finally, the 3X plus 2 on the right is our output. And again, note that that's going to depend on whatever X is. So if I make X 0, then the output in this particular case is going to be 2, because 3 times 0 plus 2 is 2. If I do that two more times, with x being 1, I'll get an output of 5, and then with x being 2, I'll get an output of 8. This then translates to three order pairs, 0, 2, 1, 5, and 2, 8. We can then plot those three points as shown in the coordinate plane on the right. Now, note that on the coordinate plane, I've labeled my axes. Here's the x-axis. And here's the y-axis. Now, if we plot all possible x-y combinations, in other words, every single possible ordered pair that satisfies these conditions, we'll get the line shown in blue. Note also that we sometimes see this as y equals 3x plus 2 instead of f of x equals 3x plus 2. So the f of x notation and the y are more or less interchangeable. Okay, so that is a quick crash course in function notation and how to generate a graph from the equation. Next up will be domain and range.